so let's see uh, see an interesting case of an IOL exchange trifocal to monofocal so little bit of patient details we will see here so this was a 37 year old young male who had a history of cataract surgery for traumatic cataract in the left eye with insertion of trifocal IUL. The right eye was within normal limits. Patient had complaints of dysphotopic symptoms, especially while driving, and had a poor visual quality compared to the right eye for general activities. Was very keen on the exchange of IUL. Patient was advised to wait for three more months to see if the condition improves spontaneously, but it didn't. So his conditions further symptoms further worsened. So it was planned. To take up take up uh, his case for an IL exchange so this is how it looked on dilatation you can see a nice trifocal IUL sitting in the back so uh, side port entries are made and uh, viscoelastic is injected some amount of viscoelastic is also injected under the anterior capsule in the IUL back to facilitate movement of the IUL. So, as the anterior capsule was fused with the posterior capsule, a spatula was used to create a plane between the anterior capsule and the posterior capsule. Uh, this was done from both the sides, nasally and temporarily. So now the first attempt to to bring the haptic out of the bag and you can see that there is a significant amount of fibrosis as a result getting the lens out will not be an easy procedure so subsequently it was decided to uh, push a little viscoelastic behind the lens optic as you can see here by lifting the optic with the help of iris spatula and uh, with this it was possible to give a little back support to the IOL with the other hand and there is a dialer which is uh, used to gradually bring gradually dislodged the IOL haptic intermittent viscoelastic is being injected another attempt is being made now so a support of iris spatula is given and with the help of IOL dialer you can see the lens is gradually very slowly one of the haptics has come out for the other haptic this uh, spatula is taken behind behind that haptic and so the haptic is uh, is held by the help of spatula little bit of viscoelastic is inserted so the haptic end is kind of stuck in the fibrosis of the anterior and posterior capsule and a little effort helps us to release it from that stuck position so one end of the lens is now free we now concentrate on the other end here also the haptic uh, the optic is pulled away from the posterior capsule and the lens is supported by the iris spatula and similar maneuver is done and this time it's much easier the lens uh, haptics just come out with a single stroke superior 2.8 millimeter incision is given here and a vana scissor is used to initiate a cut in the optic of the lens
uh, the optic of the eye will stabilize with the with the dialer and uh, the left hand being steady the right hand is used to cut the optic of the eye will in one go and you get two pieces of the lens now all these maneuvers are done under significant amount of viscoelastic cover that is dispersive viscoelastic chondrite in sulfate so as we can see that there are two pieces of iol here and uh, the lens is being oriented towards the the corneal wound and then with the help of uh, forceps the lens piece is picked up subsequently the posterior capsular polishing is done and a monofocal single piece aspheric lens is implanted in the eye so the leading haptic goes steadily in the back and now basically the lens has to be tucked in in the back so that it maintains centration has the stability so it needs a little bit of rotation and micro movements to get the lens exactly in the back so here we can see the adjustment is going on the lens is still not gone and at one particular point with the small rotations it it finally goes in the back completely and we get a very centralized position of the eye well Finally, the side ports are hydrated. First operative the patient did well. He achieved a uncorrected visual acuity of 6 by 6 and he needed a correction of around plus 2.5 diopter to achieve N6. The dysphotopsic symptoms that the patient was facing were no longer there and patient was quite comfortable. So this case highlights that one has to be cautious while advising a trifocal IOL in a young patient who has unilateral cataract. More often than not, they tend to compare their visual acuity with the normal eye and always are dissatisfied with the outcome. So it's much safer to go in for a monofocal level in these patients and to achieve the best quality of vision possible. Avial exchange is a procedure that can be done even up to one, one and a half years post cataract surgery. Only thing is one has to be wary about the degree of fibrosis that has happened between the anterior and posterior capsule and one has to be very slow and cautious and deal with this fibrosis at each uh, very gradually and and in a controlled manner so that the lens can be freed comfortably and an eye exchange can be accomplished <laughs>